Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you are new here, we are here for a reading all about what the future holds between you and your specific person. So whoever came to mind when this video found you and you had a calling to click on it, we're going to see what's going on in the future between you two. Figure it out for you. Um, future predictions. And this, of course, is according to current projections. Things can always shift. We live in a reality with free will, so you can always choose to alter your course, and so can this person. However, I'm going to read based on what's likely to happen right now, according to current stuff, okay? Wowzas. Okay, so we have the Empress coming out here. Interesting. I definitely need to get clarifiers. I knew it. Okay, I wasn't going to say it, but then I'm like, I need to get clarifiers, and here's the freaking card. You might be having a family with this person. You might be having a literal child with this person because sometimes the Empress can talk about fertility and pregnancy, okay? And then we have the Ten of Cups, which can sometimes talk about like having a happy family. We literally have a couple and two kids playing in the background. So maybe you already have kids. That's another potential. Take it how it resonates with your situation. This might end up being a specific message, okay? But seriously, like you're probably going to end up in a happy, healthy relationship with this person. You might even end up having kids together. So that's that's a straightforward message. Um, let's get out some more information, though. I want to see what else is coming in the near future. Wow, the chariot. Okay, and that flew into my hand, too. Okay, so by the way, the empress is Taurus energy and the chariot is Cancer energy. So take that if it resonates. Could also be timelines for certain things. Uh, but this person's planning on moving towards you. There's going to be forward movement and determination in this connection. Um, it's almost like maybe the two of you are one track minded individuals where you set your mind on a goal and you will stop at nothing to achieve that goal. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting from it. So anyway, let's get out more information. What else? What else? What else would this person have to say? Um, actually, not what the, what do I know? I'm getting all tongue tied now, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Talk to me a little bit more about the future between these two individuals, the viewer and their person. Talk to me about the future. Any other information you can give me? There was one more card, and I'm going to pull a fifth, and then we're going to leave that there, unless I feel like I need to. Oop. Ah, okay, well, it wants to split off at the sun. So I'm not going to not take that. If you guys saw that chaos just right there. Yeah, there's a lot of beauty coming in this connection, you guys. There's a lot of warmth and vitality and loving connection. And honestly, it's very beautiful. Okay. Um, yep. We have the Page of Wands. There's definitely a new beginning coming for the two of you. Seems like this person might be the one to take the next few steps towards you in this connection could even be indicating that the two of you may be going into business together potentially or um, like if one of you is already a business owner like you will help the other one out with their already established enterprise if that makes sense um, we have these two come out as a pair which is interesting we have the eight of cups paired with three of wands so it seems like somebody at some point in this connection has walked away. You might be in separation with this person right now or like emotionally distanced, and that's going to be changing in the future. You guys are going to be moving past this heavy energy in the future. There's forward movement away from that heavy energy is what I'm seeing. So what we're going to do next is get out a few more predictions of the future. Actually, they just showed me a specific deck. So I got to pull from that first. Hold on which of course it's the bottom deck of one of my stacks and the way back of my like little Jenga pile. So uh, yeah, bear with me. Let's get out a <laughs> let's get out a couple of these cards. What else are you trying to tell me right now about the future of this connection? <laughs> you guys, I've been so sing-songy in the last couple readings. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, there's like a calm after the storm coming. You got, you and this person have definitely been through the ringer with one another. I'm going to tell you that much, okay? And I'm not even going to lie to you. There may be a little bit of upheaval coming for this connection in the future, but it's going to be to clear the path. What What does the saying go? It's like not all storms come to destroy your life. Some of them come to clear a path for you or whatever that is. If you guys know what that quote is, just maybe comment it down below because it... 
I'm probably phrasing it wrong, but anyway, I hope you get what I'm saying. Um, it's tower moment stuff, you know what I mean? We have to have tower moments in our life because if we have a foundation that's built on negative ground, we have to like clear the way so we can be rebuilt into who we're currently meant to be. You know what I mean? Sometimes we have to have foundational shifts in order to evolve into the best version of ourselves. Okay? Cloud, storm and cloud. That's funny. Yeah. The clouds are going to be clearing. The storm is going to be clearing. There's going to be hope on the horizon again for you. We'll get one more out. What was that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Phoenix. Rising from the ashes, rebirth, a new beginning is coming. Um, the tower moments and the hard times you've experienced with and without this person are not in vain. It's been to make you a stronger version of yourself. Um, it's not like you have to hold on tightly to that and super identify with it, but just acknowledge that you, you've grown as a person throughout this experience. And this is also saying that this connection itself is in for a rebirth, okay? In due timing, it's coming. Now, I'm going to get you out one of these as well. Then we'll pull from some more situation decks. Doo, doo, doo. And if you guys are liking so far, if you like the video and you haven't gotten a chance already, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to help out my channel. And I'd love it if you'd stick around for more videos in the future. Ah, Okay, what's up with that? Timing, divine timing all happening for a reason this whole thing has been according to divine timing what else is new okay especially if you did go oh you probably can't read that can you okay sorry <laughs> i forget sometimes you guys timing basically okay and then we have isolation all right so you you might have gone through like a single period where the two of you split for a while that splitting the breakup again because we did have the walking away Happened for a reason. It was so both of you could grow separately, okay? The tower had to happen so everything could fall apart and your egos could be broken down a little bit and you could rise from those ashes and be born again and be ready to receive these blessings. That's how it typically works, you guys. Um, especially if somebody was like vibrating low, you gotta be broken down. Unfortunately, we have to go through like an ego collapse every once in a while to break us down to be rebuilt into a better version of ourselves. That's my viewpoint, at least. That's my opinion. If it's not yours, it's your life. You get to choose what you believe and what you don't believe. That's the beauty of being alive and having free will, right? Okay, anyway, I'm in such a weird mood, you guys, but I love it. I love this version of my moods, if that makes sense. Okay, anyway, let's get out a few more cards for you not feeling that deck right now. I'm feeling this deck. All right. What else does the future hold for this connection, please? <laughs> does the future hold for this connection? That was way too many. That one wants to like pop away. Let's we'll see what those are all about. This card has been coming up like crazy in my readings lately, you guys. I am so serious. Um, in like my last three pop-up readings, I swear, I'll link that playlist up here towards the end of the video in case you want to scroll through and just see if any of them call to you. We have wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. And like, hi, we had the 10 of cups in the sun. You guys are definitely going to end up in a relationship together. Union, you may even be getting married. I mean, the first two cards coming out were the Empress and um, the 10 of cups. Now, not everybody is interested in a traditional marriage, right? But if you do resonate with wanting that in your life, this is certainly confirmation that that could be coming for you and this person. Um, of course, you don't necessarily have to sign a piece of paper saying you're legally married to be in a permanent relationship with someone, right? So essentially, it's just saying you guys are going to be in a union together, whether it's legal marriage or you guys are just gonna like live happily ever after in your own beautiful, unique ways, okay? We have camera, reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, and perception. So what that's telling me is you guys are going to be nostalgic with one another. You may be going over old photos of when you were together in the past, talking things through, and making beautiful new memories, okay? Could even be that you'll be traveling to a beautiful place or something and really just enjoying each other's company, taking pictures, making those beautiful new memories that are going to last for a lifetime. So it doesn't get much better than that. Um, you know what? I'm going to get... I'm going to get an energy card out as well. 
the energy of this next phase or anything else you can tell me, please, spiritual. Ah, what was that? That one did not flip up, so we're not going to take it. Ah. Can you read that? Is passion. Yeah, you guys. Might be might be having a kid together or practicing that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> anyway you guys are gonna feel each other you're really gonna enjoy each other's presence there's gonna be a lot of love and passion in this connection in the future so i'm super excited for you um what we're gonna do next is get out i'm gonna get a couple angel numbers out for you could relate to this connection or not take it however it resonates that's funny that just came up in my last reading as well we have 999 release um, this is basically all about the ending of a cycle. So um, the ending of a tough cycle between the two of you is coming. And just in your life in general, maybe you are already in the process of releasing some unhealthy habits, patterns, relationships, situations. Um, and that's what's helping to call forth this new beauty into your life because you're releasing all of that heavy stuckness. You know what I mean? Um, I swear, you guys. <sighs> Because we had a very similar energy come out paired with this, but this is a different one. Zero, 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 zero. And that's all about new beginnings, okay? Limitless potential, rest, relaxation, unknown, surrender, finish line, success, and victory. But zeros and ones are all about new beginnings. So it's just beautiful to me. Mwah. I love it. It's like a chef's kiss when this synchronizes like this, you guys. We have the ending of an old chapter and the beginning of a new one right here. So full circle. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. In your life, could relate to this connection. It likely does, but also just in general. An old chapter of your life is coming to an end and a beautiful new beginning is about to happen for you in your world. So I'm excited. That's amazing. What I'm going to do next is get you just a couple of affirmations. We're going to keep it simple and then I'm going to close off the reading here. If you guys are liking my videos and you haven't, like I already said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have a YouTube membership and a Patreon membership, and both of those have exclusive videos, um, and it's like five bucks a month. So if you feel like checking that out, that info is going to be down below. I invite you to do so if you feel called, of course. Let's get out a couple affirmations for you, beautiful folks. Love and light guide my journey. Beautiful. Hopefully you can read that. I'm doing my best. I I am doing the best that I can, and that is enough. I love that, too. That is so very true. We're all just people trying to do our very best, huh? But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.